click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of machine design 1. We are right now learning about various couplings. We are coming to the end of this module where we are going to look at the formally associated with the bush pin type coupling which is a kind of flexible coupling. So let us begin. So students, what we have seen is there are different kind of alignments as far as the shafts are concerned. Some of them are perfectly aligned, some of them are slightly misaligned and some of them are aligned to certain margin. So based on the alignment, we select different kind of couplings. So in one case where the alignment is going to be slightly different than what is desired, we are going to consider the flexible coupling where the coupling itself will try to adjust itself based on the different parameters. Now the coupling that we are going to look at is called bush pin type coupling. The very first thing is there is a bush, there is a pin and along with the assembly we will allow this flexibility. The very first parameter that we need to understand here is the material of bush, the material of pin are such that they are compared with the main material of the coupling are slightly less harder and that's why they'll adjust them accordingly they are less strong also they'll adjust them accordingly so that the flexibility will be maintained in order to maintain the alignment so let us look at it quickly like i said bush pin type coupling which is also called a flexible coupling formally and the components now this is how the schematic is i have not drawn the complete diagram it's a Let's look at the important things. If you see, this is a hatch portion, which means it is cut portion both ways. So ideally, it is going to be like this. Let me draw a small section of the coupling, not the complete one. This is what the, this portion I have drawn. Next thing is this portion. If you see from inside also, there comes another section so this particular section is nothing but this one which is the extra provided recess from where inside we can attach different bolts so the holes are also provided on either sides so this is what the complete schematic is and these are the component name let us quickly look at them the first one the outermost recess which is the additional part in this particular thing is called protective rim. Now there is a small history you need to understand that in the textile industries when people used to use different flange couplings they used to get their threads or the clothes or the portion of clothes attached with the bolt assembly. So this could have happened with the accidents also. So to avoid that this particular kind of coupling was invented or they discovered so in that case only additional part is nothing but this protective ring so the bolt assembly is actually protected inside a ring so that it lessens the uh, capabilities or it lessens the possibilities where the clothes will get inside and the accident will happen the next thing is hub to which this recess is connected the next thing is shaft of course that we consider keys now this is what the different thing we have in our case very first thing is the bush which is made up of rubber there comes the brass which is the metallic part and there comes the pin which is inside inserted so this is what the segment which is very important if at all there is some misalignment between these two shaft axes due to the compression of this mild material or the soft material we will maintain the alignment of the shaft so that is what the secret behind using this bush pin type coupling so like i said important components are shaft key bolt rubber bush and pin which we are going to design in the subsequent parts now let us quickly look at the failure of these components and associated formally very first thing is shaft now we know that shaft will fail under shear of torsional shear of course so the formally associated are prominently known power formula and the torque formula that we consider let me again tell you that if the shaft is by already selected by us we will prove that it is safe 
or if the value of the material properties is given for us we will find out the diameter of the shaft the next thing is flange which fails under torsional moment and hence these are the formulae associated this is the only main formula which is associated with the flange failure but these are the parameters which are associated where this is the diameter of hub length of hub the diameter of outer rim the thickness of the rim the thickness of other aspect of the rim and the torsional equation so no doubt that this particular equation which is derived based on this particular torsional equation of course for the flange the next thing is pin which again fails under the torsional failure or torsional moment for that the formula are very simple this is a simplified formula where the number of pins will be there and these are the dimensions which are already taken by us we have to prove that it is safe under torsion based on the torque which is applied the next thing is bush bush is a very small component and for that again there are two formulae which are derived the only important thing that we need to understand that the length of the bush is assumed to be length of the hub length of the bolts and the last thing is the keys we know that keys do fail under shear or they fail under crushing and that's why the only formula that's a new formula that i have derived is length is equal to length of hub rest of the failure criteria remains same for both keys in shear and keys in crushing so with this formula we'll move ahead and we'll solve the numerical based on the given material so the only thing again let me repeat quickly is there are only five to six important components which we need to consider for their safety and we have to design them again it's a shaft it's the flange pin bush and at the end it is going to be keys so this was from my side in this session in the next session we are going to quickly solve a numerical based on the design of bush pin type coupling thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda thank you